My name is Antonio and I'm going to show you a very simple project that I have made with the Arduino. The project that I have made is called the Light Theremin. I'm going to start off with a quick demonstration. Before we get started, you're going to need to know a few simple things. First of all, this is made up of two different parts. This is the breadboard, and this is the actual Arduino. The breadboard works like this. These five pins, or A, B, C, D, and E, are all interconnected. The positive and negative pins, however, work a little bit differently. All the positive pins that are in a column here are interconnected, and the same thing with the negative pins. This is the actual Arduino. It is made of quite a few different things, but I'm just going to list a few. This is the microprocessor, and these are the pins. The pins are used to send information or electricity to the board or to extract information or electricity from the board. These are digital pins, and these are analog pins. The digital pins can only turn on or off. The analog pins, however, can go from 0 to 1024. For this project, you will need the Arduino, some wire, a PASO, a photoresistor, and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. What is a piezo? What is a photoresistor? What is a resistor? A piezo is basically like a speaker. It converts electrical pulses into sound. What is a photoresistor? A photoresistor is something that detects the amount of light that there is, and depending on that, allows a certain amount of electricity to flow through it. What is a resistor? A resistor is something that allows a certain amount of electricity to flow th through it. Now we're going to build the circuit. The first thing that we need to do is we need to bring power to the board. We're going to do this by taking our red wire and plugging it into the 5 volt pin. Then we're going to take the other end of the red wire and we're going to plug it into the positive pin. Next we're going to take our black wire and plug it into the ground pin. We're going to take the other end of the black wire and we're going to plug it into the negative pin. Now that we have brought power to the board, we need to plug in our components. The first component that we are going to plug in is the piezo. We're going to take our piezo and plug it into the board. While we are plugging it in, we want to remember which row the legs were plugged into. Also, you don't want to plug the two legs into the same row. This could create a short circuit. Next, you want to take one end of the wire and plug it into the same row as where one of the legs was plugged into. You want to take the other end of the wire and plug it into the negative column or ground. Then, you want to remember which row the other leg was plugged into and you want to take one end of a wire and plug it into that same row. Then you want to take the other end of the wire and plug it into digital pin 8. You don't need to plug it into digital pin 8, but later on your code will be a little bit different if you choose to plug it into a different pin. Now that we have plugged in our piezo, we want to plug in our photoresistor. We're going to take our photoresistor and plug it into the board. You do not want to plug the two legs into the same row. This could create a short circuit. Now we want to take one wire and plug it in to the same row as where one of the legs of the photoresistor was plugged into and you want to plug it into the positive column. Then you want to take another wire and plug it in to the row in which the other leg of the photoresistor was plugged into and you want to take the other end of the wire and plug it into analog pin 0 or A0. You can plug it into any analog pin that you want, however later on your code will be a little bit different than ours. Now we want to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor which looks like this and we want to plug one end of it into the negative column. We want to take the other end of it and plug it into the same row in which we took a wire and we plug it into analog pin zero. Now, a basic overview of how this works. The 
Photoresistor senses the amount of light that there is, and depending on that, allows a certain amount of electricity to go back to the Arduino. The Arduino sends a certain frequency of electricity to the piezo, and depending on that frequency, that piezo creates a certain sound. Now that we have completed the hardware, we will look into the code that will control the Arduino. First, we will need to download and open the IDE program from Arduino. Any Arduino program has three main parts. The first part is where we define the variables, in our case, sensor value. The second part of any Arduino program is the setup. The setup is where we tell what pins and what type of pins we will use. In our case, digital pin 8, which is an output connected to piezo. The third part of any Arduino program is the loop. This is what repeats over and over again. In our case, the information in analog pin A0 from the photoresistor is sent to the piezo through digital pin 8.